You're listening to Bambino Babble Story. Once upon a time, in a lush jungle in India, there lived a mischievous monkey named Manu. Manu was known for his playful nature and his ability to swing from tree to tree with great agility. He had many friends in the jungle, including a wise old crocodile named Gopala. One sunny day, as Manu was leaping from branch to branch, he spotted Gopala basking on a rock near the river bank. Excited to see his friend, Manu swung down and landed beside the crocodile. Hello, Gopala. How are you today? Manu asked, his eyes gleaming with mischief. Gopala opened his eyes and smiled at the monkey. Ah, Manu, my friend. I am well. Just enjoying the warmth of the sun. What brings you here? Manu scratched his head and grinned mischievously. I've heard tales of a beautiful mango tree on the other side of the river, laden with the juiciest fruits you can imagine. I was wondering if you could give me a ride across the river so I can taste those delicious mangoes. Gopala pondered for a moment and then replied, Manu, my dear friend, I would love to help you, but I fear the water is too deep and dangerous for a monkey like you. It's best for you to stay on this side of the river where it's safe. Manu was disappointed but determined to get his paws on those mangoes. He hatched a plan to convince Gopala to help him. The next day, Manu returned to the riverbank with a basket of sweet ripe mangoes. Look, Gopala! I brought you these delicious mangoes as a token of friendship. Won't you reconsider and take me across the river? Manu pleaded, offering the fruits to the crocodile. Gopala's eyes twinkled with delight at the sight of the mangoes. He couldn't resist their tempting aroma. Oh, Manu, you know how much I love mangoes. All right, I will take you across the river, but you must promise to save the best mango for me. Manu happily agreed, and the mischievous monkey hopped onto Gopala's back. With strong strokes of his powerful tail, Gopala began to swim across the river. As they reached the middle of the river, Manu glanced down and saw the sharp teeth of the crocodile. Fear gripped him, and he realized that he had underestimated Gopala's intentions. Thinking quickly, Manu said, Oh, Gopala, I forgot to bring the mangoes with me. They are still on the other side of the river. I promise to give you the juiciest mango if you take me back. Gopala, disappointed but intrigued by the promise of a juicy mango, turned around and swam back to the riverbank. Manu jumped off his back and scampered up a tree out of Gopala's reach. You tricked me, Manu. Gopala roared, feeling betrayed. Manu looked down from the tree, feeling guilty for his deception. I'm sorry, Gopala. I wanted those mangoes so badly that I let my greed cloud my judgment. Please forgive me. Gopala's anger softened as he saw the remorse in Manu's eyes. Manu, your playful nature got the best of you, but I see your sincerity. I forgive you, my friend. Let's learn from this experience and cherish our friendship. Grateful for Gopala's forgiveness, Manu promised to be more thoughtful and honest in the future. From that day onward, they remained the best of friends, always looking out for each other in the vast jungle. As time passed, Manu's mischievous nature mellowed, and he became known as a wise and helpful monkey.
He used his agility to gather fruits and nuts from tall trees, sharing his bountiful finds with his friends. Gopala, on the other hand, continued to be a gentle and wise guardian of the river. He offered a safe passage to animals in need and cautioned them about potential dangers lurking beneath the surface. One day, a severe drought struck the jungle and the river began to shrink, leaving many animals desperate for water. Gopala, with his keen sense of responsibility, knew he had to find a solution. He sought Manu's help, explaining the dire situation. Manu, knowing he had to repay his friend's kindness, suggested they search for a hidden underground spring that might bring relief to the thirsty animals. Together, they embarked on a journey, exploring every nook and cranny of the jungle. After days of searching, they stumbled upon a moss-covered rock deep within a dense thicket. As they approached the rock, they heard a faint trickle of water. Excitement filled their hearts as they realized they had discovered the hidden spring. With their combined efforts, they cleared away the moss, revealing a sparkling pool of fresh water that gushed forth, providing much-needed relief to the parched jungle. News of their discovery spread quickly, and animals from far and wide flocked to the rejuvenated spring. The jungle came alive once again, and the grateful creatures praised Manu and Gopala for their selfless act. From that day on, the moss-covered rock became a symbol of friendship and unity in the jungle. Manu and Gopala, as the heroes of the story, were hailed as protectors of the jungle's well-being.